Hello, my name is Rachel, and this is a hopefully not long, too long video that uh, introduces my UI um, and kind of showcases LVUI and mouse over macros as well as key bindings. So um, this is my UI and what it looks like when I am in a raid. Um, as you can see, I don't have any uh, bars out and that's because I use weak auras uh, and this just shows my spells and you know if they're on cooldown or or whatever so you can see cooldown cooldown got it all right those are all on cooldown need to cast riptide again etc so um I only do this because I can see them better and uh, I like how it looks let's be honest and uh, I also know where all my spells are so if you don't know where all your spells are, it's completely fine to have your action bar showing. Um, mine currently are mouse over, which I accomplished using uh, LVI. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show those to for like the purpose of this video. And you just go to action bars, and this is my bar one and bar two. And you unclick mouse over, and there's your bars. So uh, the first thing that you'll notice is that I have a lot of keybinds going on here, and these are not hard to create at all. Um, they can be made in place of mod shift mouse over macros. Uh, actually, no, they can't. I was just kidding. But um, well, they could. You just have to make a a mouse over macro for it as well. Um, so yeah, they could be used in place of mod shift macros. Any always. Uh, so I have all of my healing spells, two things that are easy to access for me. Um, I have a 12 button mouse that also has two more buttons on top. So what I can access because I have small hands is like one through four is really accessible, five sometimes. Six is my least accessible, so I never have anything in there, sadly. And then um, seven through 12, I can access on the you know rear end of my mouse. So that's what I use. Um, and then I use shift for a lot of things. Um, for example, a lot of cooldowns um, and my top mouse buttons like that one. Uh, is my back top mouse button and then ghost will form is another one and then gust of wind etc so um i made those by going to action bars and you just hit keybind mode super easy right and you can hover over any of these at all on your bars and uh pick anything so say i wanted to make a keybind for water walking um, and I'm gonna make it plus sign because a lot of things are already taken so I just hit the plus sign on my keyboard numpad plus you can see it there and you hit save and now it's bound to that so whenever I hit the plus sign on my keyboard it casts water walking or whatever you decide to put in this slot now if I move water walking away from there it will still stay in that slot so you could have it all the way all over the place but I try to keep them all in the same area um, and yeah so that's keybinds LVI uh, is very customizable as you can see I've made everything this kind of dark bluish purple color and um, yeah you can pretty much move anything wherever you want it so to open LVI you just type slash EC and hit enter and you can toggle anchor anchor bars and you can move literally everything everything your objective frame is normally over here I have it over here because I like it better over there um, you know I have my uh, as you can see it's mouse over but I have my little macro bar what is it called uh, micro bar I have that over here because it just seems like it's in the way other places so it's mouse over I don't use it that often and um, and yeah so you can you can move everything around and I just have this set up the way that I like it. Uh, if you like how I have this set up, then I can send you this UI. And all you would have to do is go, like, I would export it to you by getting the text. I would send all that to you. And then you would import it here. You'd paste it, hit enter, and then import now. Um, 
but we can talk about that later. So let's get into the mouse over macros because that's probably the most important thing here. Um, so mouse over macros makes it to where like anything that I hover over, whether it's a frame or a person, if I could find a horde member. Uh, see how I just healed him? I don't have him targeted. I have this guy targeted. But I can heal that guy. I can heal that guy. Whatever. I can heal that guy's pet if I need to. Um, all kinds of stuff. So it works for players and it works for frames as well. And is how you set that up is you go to macro. And I purposefully took away my chain heal macro so I'd like to show you how to make a new one. So you can have them in general like I did for my monks, but obviously that gets a little bit cluttered. So I just go to my character specific and uh, create new. And you just want to type in the name of the spell, which you can name it anything that you want. I just name it the name of the spell. Um, and you don't have to pick an icon at all, and I'll show you why in just a second. So you just hit OK, and then you copy and paste that mouse over macro in there. And <clears throat> you go to your spell book, and you shift left click the spell that you want to make sure that you're not messing up spaces or, uh, you know, misspelling anything or whatever. And then all you do is hit save. And when you hit save, it should change to the icon for that specific spell. So that's why I said you didn't have to choose an icon before because that's time consuming. Um, and then you just take that macro and you drag and drop it down to your bar. And then you should be able to, yeah, use it just by mousing over someone or mousing over a frame. Unfortunately, like see I'm just, I'm not targeting myself, I'm just mousing over it. Unfortunately I'm not in like a real raid group, this is just a example frame. So it's, I can't show you mousing over raid frames. Uh, I might have some footage of that somewhere that I could add in the end. But um, trust in me when I say that it does actually work with the frames and you don't have to hover over people or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of my UI. Uh, if you have more questions, you can always feel free to ask, but you know, you can see that it, uh, it works pretty well for me. Uh, I just like having things very clean and organized and, um, I don't know. I feel like with healing add-ons, things can get a little bit crazy, especially if they don't update or something like that. Um, so yeah, hit me up if you have any more questions or if you want to talk about customizing your UI, I can help with that a little bit too. Uh, so yeah, just let me know. Okay, bye!